Good morning. This is Carl F. Rose recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Monday, August 5th, 2019. And hopefully I don't have the background music too loud. Still working on uh, uh, fine-tuning my podcast here. Um, anyway, well, we'll find out later. Anyway, what I want to talk about uh, since the uh, Lions first preseason game is coming up uh, this Thursday night um, against the Patriots, um, I mean, I'm going to do a, a, a game um, a review on Friday morning. Uh, that, so stay tuned for that podcast. And also, um, if you're on my YouTube podcast channel, be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you're not subscribed to my regular YouTube channel, be sure to check out Carl Carl Rose. That's uh, look for that and uh, uh, go into that channel again and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Okay, let's get on with the um, uh, topic here of, of Matthew Stafford. The reason I I, I bring up Matthew Stafford uh, this morning is because. First of all, I want to, you know, admit that, that um, I made, you know, over the years, I was highly critical of, of Matthew Stafford, and um, I was one of these guys who said uh, uh, maybe he should be traded. Well, uh, I was absolutely wrong. I'm the kind of guy, if, if, if um, I'm wrong about something, I will come up and say it. And uh, when it comes to Matthew Stafford, um, I have to say it, that, that I was uh, wrong. Um, Matthew Stafford is the Detroit Lions. Uh, and it appears that finally the Lions, with the, the Patricia, uh, Daryl Bevel, and uh, uh, Bob Quinn, uh, that system, it looks like they're finally putting the pieces together around Matthew Stafford. But the reason, um, what, what I'm getting at is, is for, for all these years prior, he had nothing around him with either, he either had a, a um, either just, it was just him and Calvin Johnson, or, well, they actually had no running game until, uh, until recently. Um, um, but, so, they were really one-dimensional, and um, and then some years they had a good defense, but when it came to the offense, it was just all Matthew Stafford's arm, and um, and you can't really blame Matthew Stafford like I was in the past. I I was one of these guys saying trade him, trade him, trade him, um, and I'm really glad they they never did. I guess that's why I'm not a head coach in the NFL. It's probably why I'm not uh, employed in the NFL. But um, I, uh, anyway, uh, here's the thing: if, uh, for the, the most part, Matthew Stafford has had to endure a uh, horrible offensive line. I mean, he's had good pieces, but not an offensive line. That was a cohesive unit that worked together, and not only worked together for pass protection, but worked um, working together to actually have a balanced offense where you know to take some of the pressure off uh, Stafford because he can't do it all alone, uh, and and uh, he is probably the most. Um, Durable quarterback in the NFL. I mean, seriously, the, the beating that he's been taking over the last ten plus years. Um, I don't think there is any quarterback in the NFL that um, would have been able to endure what Matthew Stafford has had to endure. Uh, not even Aaron Rodgers. Not even Tom Brady. Um, um, many of those other quarterbacks, if they had been stuck on the Detroit Lions, they would have been long gone by now, and they would probably be in uh, some other career that's outside of football, or either in the um, uh, either in the uh, broadcast booth or some other job. And and um, 
another example from, um, uh, you know, looking at Troy Aikman when he was on the Cowboys. He took, he had so many concussions, he had to retire early. Um, um, and then the Cowboys eventually um, ended up um, doing what they did, and they, they've got a wall for an offensive line. Um, but uh, the thing is, it's, uh, you know, you can only take so many concussions before you have to, you know, just hang up your cleats. Um, fortunately, Matthew Stafford has not had the concussion problem, but uh, finding out that he played last year with a broken back, that had to be painful. And, uh, you know, so I'm sure they were 6 and 10. Um, but that's a considerable feat considering that the, the main guy is playing with a broken back and even to get six wins out of that, that's just, that, that's amazing. I don't think any other quarterback could do that. So, again, um, for me to really just shoot down Matthew Stafford uh, and, you know, want him traded, that's just, you know, that's, you know, that was an error on my part. Uh, and uh, he can uh, Oh, that's, that's, that's why they call it a team. Uh, you have to have all the parts together. And not just one, one or two people carrying the whole team. Um, that's not going to work. It never has worked, and it never will work. And when you only have a few people, key people playing, that's going to guarantee you like uh, anywhere from a three win to a six or seven win season. And uh, keep you out of the playoffs. Uh, both, all three units have, have got to have everybody on there on the same page, um, uh, knowing their knowing their playbooks, knowing what they have to do. And this is the thing that that, that Pat, Matt Patricia is really getting in, uh, trying to explain in his uh, press conferences. And what he's trying to say about you know the preseason, what they're what they're doing now, getting ready for the preseason game, and he wants to evaluate the players. He wants to make sure that they know the playbook, they understand when they go out there, and there's a certain they have a certain but they know their assignment, but they need to know where they need where they need to be when the, when the play starts, when the play goes. They got to be in their spot take care of business um, and if they don't they will more than likely be cut and uh, 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 the more that Pat and Matt Patricia is on the Lions the more I am liking him you know, uh, 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 it's, it's not funny that he's in the car but I mean it's, it's kind of funny to watch him around in the car I sure hope he uh, can get back on his feet soon. I'm not sure how long he's going to be on that thing but, but uh they're, they're working at it, and um, as I said in my video, my standard video the other day, the, the biggest thing I have right now is um, uh, with the Lions, uh, they seem to be doing everything, they're going right along, and they're, they're building up, but, but they don't have a uh, contingency plan for Matt Stafford, uh, so if he goes down, basically the, the, the backups are so horrible that uh, whole team is going to go down. You need a backup quarterback that uh, is at least going to be capable to carry the team until the starter gets back. Uh, and the Lions don't have that. Most other teams in the NFL do. Most of them do. And that's why you see some uh, teams that are like mediocre. Uh, uh, and if their, their main guy goes down, backup comes in and, and usually there's a spark and they somehow end up in the playoffs. They don't go very far, but, but um, um, it's better than being knocked out of the playoffs altogether. But um, the, the Lions really need to uh, show who they are this year. And um, I do believe they will be better than 6-10. I'm not going to give any prediction. I, 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 I'm still saying, just, just off the top of my head, uh, eight and eight, but uh, but my my uh, my prediction will come after the uh, game four of the, the preseason. Once we know, once we see how they do in the preseason, 
and actually after, more importantly after game four, which is kind of a dress rehearsal for the, the season, then I will do a, uh, uh, probably a regular video uh, um, on that, and um, I'll do my predictions, but right now, just off the top of my head, they're looking like an 8-8 eight, eight team, and, uh, and obviously I want to be better than that, because 8-8 eight, eight won't be anywhere. But um, there are some networks and things saying that they're only going to get three wins. Um, I just don't see that happening unless Max Stafford is uh, injured. So um, I'm really hoping that, that Patricia and Quinn and uh, the upper management are taking a serious look at the backups. And if they are absolutely horrible, they need to do something about it and, and, um, uh, and be looking around to see who's available, who is who can fit into the Daryl Bevel system and who can come in and fill the spot and um, uh, um, run the team and at least keep the wins going uh, while in, just in case uh, uh, Matt Stafford is out for a bit of time due to either injury or the two family issues. Um, and, um, and and that's, that's the thing. Um, there's a lot of people that say, well, he hasn't won a playoff game. He's, uh, um, um, the Lions haven't. Um, he hasn't beaten a, a team uh, over 500. Well, he did last year. Um, but, but his record against teams that are over 500 is poor. But it's, it's not him. Um, when you talk about his overall record and um, his performance against above um, above 500 teams, that's a statement on the Lions team as a whole. It's not a statement on Matt, on Stafford, and that's where I was getting it wrong. I was putting the whole thing on him and thinking they straight up. When, like I said in the beginning, this is a team game, so so when you look at the Lions record, it's, it's a reflection on the organization itself. The whole team needs to be playing better against teams that are above 500. They need to beat um, their division teams. Uh, at the very least, split with all of them. At the very least. They, they, uh, I think they're, they're capable of sweeping the Packers again. Um, and I'm, and, but they can't be swept. Um, and I'm kind of expecting them probably to split with the Bears and split with the Vikings. But if they if they get swept by any of those those teams, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. So the the first thing is to take care of business in your division, um, and you know, you know you go one game at a time. As the coaches always say, uh, the goal is to win the division. But um, in order to do win the division, you gotta you gotta really play good against the division opponents. And not only that, you need to really win in within your conference too. So the, the conference games are just as important. So so when when people talk about the uh, uh, record this and they try and blame it on Stafford, it's no, it's, it's, it's not. It's not all on Stafford. Sure, he's had bad games, but that's um, mainly because he's been running for his life. Um, he hasn't had the best targets out there to get the ball to. Um, he, he's not really your, your mobile quarterback. I mean, he, he can run when he has to. Um, and he has done that. Uh, but, um, uh, and he needs to just uh, uh, really, and, and what, what um, yeah, he just needs to get the, the ball out there. Uh, he, now, there's, I, I see absolutely no excuses um, because Quinn and Patricia have given Stafford a lot of targets, plus they have a backfield now. So there should be a different, a whole different look to the Lions, and I'm really excited for the uh, uh, upcoming uh, preseason and following the season. And uh, we'll know more after game four, but um, I'm looking forward to, to the, the first uh, preseason game. I just want to see how these backups do. And that's the most important thing. Really, I, I've, I've got my eye on, on the backup quarterbacks and just to see how 
how good or how bad they are because if they're terrible they the lions need to fix that but the other guys i want to i want to see how the other backs are doing i want to see how the, the other uh the, the backup secondary backup linebackers uh the backup uh, defensive line is uh that sort of thing that's what i'm looking for uh because those are the, the people you're gonna uh, have to depend on people that are going to have to step in in case one of the starters goes down because injuries are going to happen. It happens to every team um, and the Lions are not exempt. Um, um, but the, the, you will find that the, the teams that get to the Super Bowl and win Super Bowls, they, they get through injuries through the course of the year. Um, they somehow manage to overcome a major injury and still win games and still get to the Super Bowl. And that's what the Lions have failed to do. When their main guys get, they, they just, they haven't had the depth. So when their main injuries, their main starters get hurt, well, they're left with people that are just, just not very good. And basically the season's over. So, and what I have seen in this offseason, so far, it looks like they're building up the, the depth, not just to build depth, to, to have depth, but they want quality depth, and I believe that's what that Patricia is looking at. He wants everybody. Uh, doesn't matter if you're going to be the, the second or third string out there. He wants all of them to be putting out a thousand percent effort, and, uh, and that's what they need to do. This is all what was what's known as the, the culture change, and I think it's happening. Um, I'm excited, and um, uh, let's, uh, let's hope that there's no serious injuries in the preseason, and everybody's healthy to get going in the, the start of the season, and um, I will talk to you again on Friday after the first preseason game, and we're going to see where we stand then. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day.